Hi, welcome to the Staking Geek channel. Today we're going to look at the Chiles project and the way you can earn by staking the CHZ token. We're also going to review high level Setampa Validator and looking at their Chiles exchange to buy and sell fan tokens. So let's get right into it. First, we're going to come over here to Coin Market Cap, do a quick review. So their total market cap is number 72. If we look at their all time token price high, we got to go back to April, two and a half years ago. They reached around 63 cents. They're currently at six cents. You can purchase this token pretty much anywhere. So you have a lot of options. You can also swap for it on Uniswap. Let's go back to their website here. So Chilez was founded in 2018. They're a Malta based blockchain provider for sports entertainment, and they are the creators of these fan tokens, digital assets that provide around 150 170 major sporting organizations with the new opportunities to connect and reward their global fan bases on the socios fan engagement app so if we come over here to us.socios.com you could probably just go to socios.com wherever you are and it'll take you to the appropriate landing page you can download it for android or apple or you can come down here and put in your email address for updates if you like so this Socios app is to engage with your favorite teams and earn rewards, tickets, behind the scenes access and VIP experiences. They recently launched their own layer one chain called Chilla's Chain to provide a way for greater adoption of blockchain tech across sports and entertainment. So if you come over here, docs.chillez.com you can read a little bit more if you like about the key features of this blockchain that they've created so let's head back over here to coin market cap let's go to about they've developed partnerships with some of the biggest sporting institutions in the world here's a few of them i believe they're also partnered with ufc binance sandbox anchor Chainlink. so by purchasing the chz tokens fans get access to various fan tokens and we're going to get into that and literally have a stake in their favorite club so what makes chile's unique i think we've already outlined that but every organization that uses this chile's technology has a limited supply of fan tokens that are at, offered at an initial fto a fan token offering these tokens are offered on a first come first serve basis with the opening price and fully diluted market cap disclosed by the Chile's team beforehand. So the native CHC token is used to purchase fan tokens and acts as the platform's currency. Fans can then vote on the Socios platform with their fan tokens, a process made possible using blockchain smart contracts. So clubs can determine the amount of influence fans have. Decisions can range from New Jersey designs to deciding on team matchups and exhibition games. So if we come over here to Twitter, you could do a little bit more research. Here's their handle, at Chilez. If we scroll down, there was a highlight here I noticed uh, a week or so ago. Uh, one of the goals scored in, in a soccer game the referee stopped the game, sealed the ball for the fan token holders with a certificate issued on the Chile's blockchain. There it is. All right, so if we come over here to the Chile's X, you can also follow these guys. Let me go ahead and follow them. This is the exchange that you can buy and sell fan tokens unfortunately i'm in a location that prevents access to this so i had to unfortunately go on the tour network and just just so i could show you so if we click on exchange there it is chillis.net we click on exchange so you can buy and sell ac milan fan token arsenal fan token um uh, what else we got here juventus fan token so I don't know how much liquidity is actually in here, but they made it possible to buy and sell different fan tokens. Pretty interesting stuff. All right, so let me close that. So if you want to transact on the new Chile's chain and you don't want to, let's say, buy the assets on an exchange, let's say you have some wallet money in your MetaMask, you can bridge that over. So 
There's the link, bridge.chiles.com backslash transfer, so you could do that. All right, so let's get into staking. This is fairly new. I don't even know what the APR or APY is on staking rewards. I did some research. I believe they're fairly low because there's not a lot of transactions right now on this chain. But as it grows and more people start transacting, the more you will get paid. So there's an opportunity to get into something that is fairly new. You might not make a lot in the beginning, but it could be an opportunity to earn some decent rewards as this project grows. So if we look here, there's the validator. I believe Binance is one of these validators, but there's Socios, there's Anchor. So they have these main validators. These are the main validators that are validating transactions. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So we got 12 main validators. It looks like they're holding around 10 million and above worth of CHZ tokens. And these candidate validators are just backups uh, in case one of these uh, main ones go down. So you'll see that there. But staking is fairly straightforward. So let's say I wanted to delegate some of my CHZ tokens in my wallet. Yeah, let's really just hit delegate over here. And you need to connect your wallet. And you just click the amount of CHZ tokens you want to stake and hit submit. And you'll be earning to remove stakings and get your tokens back. It is seven days. So just be aware of that. So if you go ahead and stake your CHZ tokens, you want them back. You'll have to wait a week to get those back. So that is staking the CHZ token on governance.chiles.com backslash staking. Like I said, this is very new. Invest at your own risk. Only risk the amount you're willing to lose. But it looks like this project is progressing nicely. So if we come over here and just touch on becoming a validator. So let's say you got, I believe the minimum is 10 million tokens, CHZ tokens you need to become a validator. So let's say you have 10 million CHZ tokens which is roughly $600,000 currently. You can come over here and take a look. It looks like you'll be vetted, so you'll need to get approved by the Chiles Lab team, and you'll need to send an email to labs at chiles.com, and you'll need a minimum of 10 million. And if you come over here to the next page, run a validator node, you can see some of the prerequisites. It doesn't look like you need a lot of horsepower, four gigs of RAM, two CPU cores, solid state drive with at least 150 gigs. Uh, you can also use the hyperscalers or public clouds to do it as well. All right, so that's the Chiles project currently. Hopefully you found the information informative. I just want to say that I'm continuing to researching projects. I'll release videos as I see. I have a few other projects that I'm going to do videos on in the coming weeks. Until next time, thanks for watching. Take care of yourself. See you later.